Lower chamber, lawmakers are asking President Muhammadu Buhari to reveal the identity of the member of the National Assembly he accused of sponsoring terrorism in the country. The House of Representatives also urged the federal government to stop the wave of killings and destruction in Anambra State in the build-up to the governorship election there. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adisa reports. In his independence anniversary speech to the nation on Friday, President Mohamedou Buhari said his government was closing in on the sponsors of terrorism, one of whom is a serving member of the National Assembly. Almighty God, creator and ruler of heaven and earth. It is the first legislative day after Mr. President's speech, and the lawmakers are not taking the comment lightly. Ben Igbakwa from Delta State rises on a matter of privilege to point attention to the damage he suffered as a result of Mr. President's allegation. He said his trip to Ghana over the weekend was nipped in the board as a result of the statement. They have been calling me all over the world. My friends have been telling me who among you is that person sponsoring terrorists. Mr. Speaker, the right thing for a father to do, Mr. President is the father of the country today. The right thing for any father to do is to name and shame any child that is bringing about division or anything that will affect the family. The leaders of the two chambers of the National Assembly are to meet with President Muhammadu Buhari on the identity of the accused legislator. Chris Azubogu is from Anambra State. He recently dumped the PDP for the APC. Only last week, his vehicle was attacked and his driver killed. He also cites the recent dastardly killing of Chike Akunyele, Dora Akunyele's husband, and the spirit of Hassan in the state. The lawmaker comes the under matters of urgent public the importance to call for an end to the rising spirit of crimes ahead of the November 6 governorship election in his state. Worry that there is almost no single day that passes without a reported case of robberies, abductions, outright killings, as these perpetrators seem to have lost every act of human conscience and sensibility in them. Meanwhile, Mr. President has submitted a revised 2022 to 2024 medium-term expenditure framework for National Assembly's approval. Indications have also emerged that the President may lay the 2022 appropriation bill on Thursday. There's a possibility, a strong possibility, it's not definite yet, but there's a strong possibility that the budget will be presented on Thursday, on Thursday by Mr. President. As part of the day's legislative business, the House Committee on Healthcare Services was handed four weeks to investigate the increasing incidence of food poisoning in the country. Jokia Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.